614 Kids Worship. We're so excited that you're here. We're so ready to worship with you. While we were praying and getting ready for this, we felt like God said, take courage because he is with you and he loves you and he delights in you and he sees you. So we're going to pray before we start worshiping. Jesus, we thank you so much that you're so near to us. God, that you just love having fun and that you just delight in singing and dancing with us. Would you just fill us with courage as we worship and, and dance with you, Jesus? We love you, and it's in your name we pray. Amen. I lay my life down at your feet. You're the only one I need. I lay my life down at your feet. You're the only one I need. I turn to you when you are always there. Na, 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 na. The troubled times into you I see. I put you first, that's all I need.
incredible yeah you just came here this this is so kind of you i was just looking through old photos of myself with my mom and some family members <laughs> that sounds fun it's always fun to look back at ourselves and our lives isn't it crazy how things change so quickly yes it is and it's really important to know how far you have come and the places you have been and the places you've come from in life we might live in the same location physically but we continue to grow, we change, and we experience things as we go on our journey. Yeah, like you've been in the galaxy your whole life. Exactly, exactly. Wow, that's crazy. It's so true. If I think about who I was five years ago to now, I've changed, I've grown, and I've seen God do amazing things in my life. Yes, and God is so faithful to us. And when we look back at our life and see what's happened so far, we can look back at the great things God has done for us. In 1 Samuel 12, 24, it says, but be sure to fear the Lord and serve him faithfully with all of your heart. Consider what great things he has done for you. I would love to see those old pictures that you were looking at with your mom. <sighs> oh man, okay. <laughs> the first picture is of me when I was five in a nice uh, shirt that my mom dressed me in, this nice red polo oh, that I'm it's wearing. it's cute. It's a cute picture of you. And the next one, this next picture, oh man, it's me uh, wearing my favorite red shirt and I'm holding a turtle, and I look like a fool holding this turtle, but I found this cool turtle, so I had to hold it. And the next one was me just about a year ago 
just as I was starting college and I was 18 or 19 years old. And it's just as similar as I look now. Wow, that's awesome. So things have really changed for you. Yes. And God has kept me safe through all of those troubling times and he has guided me. He has helped me and God does not give up on us. He is faithful always and God is faithful to us so we can be faithful to him. That is such a good word, Captain Galaxy. I love that. Thank you so much. And you know what? I think we should go back to Earth now. Okay, yeah, I'm down for that. It was so fun to see you in your galaxy today, Captain Galaxy. Everything we talked about reminds me of today's unlikely hero, Timothy. Do you know him? Yes, I love Timothy. Timothy lived in a place called Lystra with his grandmother and his mother who taught him all about God. And Timothy loved to spend time with God and he knew that someday God was going to send a savior to rescue his people from sin. Yep. And Timothy lived far away from the place where Jesus was when he came to earth. So when the Apostle Paul came to Lystra, where Timothy lived, he finally heard all about Jesus. And this made Timothy so happy. Timothy wanted to know more about how to follow Jesus and how to know God better and how to tell his friends about Jesus. Yep. Timothy followed Paul everywhere as they shared the gospel. Together, they traveled all over. Timothy was faithful as he followed Paul and helped him. Timothy wanted to learn all about the best ways to tell people about Jesus and how to grow God's kingdom. And Timothy learned so much. He started telling other people the things that he learned. Some people thought that he was too young to be teaching such things. And Paul wrote to Timothy saying in 1 Timothy 4.12, Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young. Set an example for the believers in what you say and in how you live. Also, set an example in how you love and in what you believe. Show the believers how to be pure. So Timothy remained faithful to his ministry and kept preaching, teaching, and sharing the gospel. Wow. Timothy remained faithful even when things got tough. You see, there were some people doing some not very nice things. So Timothy worked hard to show them how to live like Jesus. And after a while, Timothy and Paul couldn't even be together all the time. So Paul wrote letters to him, and sometimes Timothy felt afraid to tell people about God because he thought that no one would listen to him. So Paul wrote to Timothy and told him that he didn't have to be scared of anything because God was with him. When Paul grew very, very old, Timothy remained faithful to his mentor and friend. And most importantly, Timothy remained faithful to what God had called him to do. He kept sharing the gospel and building the church. We can read some of the letters Paul wrote to Timothy, and they're in the New Testament. They are books called 1st and 2nd Timothy. Timothy was an unlikely hero. He was an ordinary guy who God used to do extraordinary things. Learning about God was Timothy's favorite thing to do, and he faithfully did this his entire life. Wow, that's awesome. So heroes are faithful. Okay, Captain Galaxy, I'm going to put you to the test today. Let's see how long you can hold this bucket of water faithfully over my head. You can't let it go, okay? Okay. Okay, you I ready to it. try it? Yes. Okay. Get the bucket of water. Got it. And on the count of three, okay, you're going to put it over my head. Yes. Okay. One, two, three, go. Ah, I'm nervous. Okay, so faithful heroes are people who can be trusted to do a great job, not just once, but all the time. When they're given a job, they do it and they stick to it. Captain Galaxy, how's it going up there? It's definitely heavy, but I got this. <laughs> okay. We want to be heroes who serve God faithfully. Heroes like Timothy, who was trusted and reliable as he built the church. Have you ever been given a job to do that seemed easy, but that ended up being too hard and you wanted to quit? Maybe it's something your parents asked you to do, or maybe a friend or sibling. Maybe at school, your teacher gave you a job to do. How can you be faithful as you serve the people in your life? A faithful hero does their best each day and can be trusted to do the job. How are we doing up there, Captain Galaxy? It's heavy. <laughs> How about I help you out? How yes. about we hold it together? It's much easier to carry this weight when we do it together, okay? That is much better. Yeah, it is much better. <laughs> Thank you for helping me out here. This is definitely much easier. You're welcome. And in Matthew 11, 28 to 30, it says, Come to me, all you who are tired and are carrying heavy loads. I will give you rest. Become my servants and learn from me. I am gentle and free of pride. You will find rest for your souls. Serving me is easy and my load is light. God helps us and gives us strength, just like you helped me. 
Yep, and we don't have to carry heavy things on our own. I think we can go ahead and put this down. What do you think? Yes. <laughs> okay. And that leads us into our three main points for today. Can you tell everyone what the first point is? Oh, sure you can. Point number one, Timothy was a faithful hero. Paul trained Timothy how to share the gospel and how to build the church. Even though he was young, Timothy learned how to inspire people to follow Jesus, and, he, and what he taught them is what it's like to be a part of God's family. That's true. Paul wrote to him in 1 Timothy 4, 12, Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young. Set an example for the believers in what you say and how you live. Also, set an example in how you love and in what you believe. Show the believers how to be pure. Yes. Timothy was faithful, faithful to this. He kept holding on through challenging times and the good times. He trained others in how to share the good news of Jesus, and he kept building the church for the long haul. I love that, Captain Galaxy. Can you ever tell everyone point number two? Yes. Point number two, faithful with a little and with much. When I was in third grade, I was given a very important job to do at my school. It was my responsibility to press that button that's on the school bus every morning at 8.45 a.m. I had to be at school early and in position at the right time. If I wasn't there, or if I was late or I forgot, the bell wouldn't sound at all. So I had to be faithful to show up every day. I was pretty good at this job and rarely made a mistake. Pretty soon I was given more responsibility and ended up being more of our class representative. I started off being with a faithful small job which showed that I could be faithful with a big job. I love that. It reminds me of what Jesus said in Luke chapter 16, verse 10. Whoever can be trusted with very little can also be trusted with much. And whoever is dishonest with very little will also be dishonest with much. Unlikely heroes start by being faithful with little and then are faithful with much. In 1 Timothy 1.12, Paul wrote, I am thankful to Christ Jesus our Lord. He has given me strength. I thank him that he has considered me faithful. I thank him for appointing me to serve him. God considered Paul faithful and chose him to serve. That really makes me think about myself. Would God consider me to be faithful? Yeah, I should think about that for myself too. And all of you should think about that. Would God consider you faithful? Can God trust you to serve him faithfully for the long haul? That leads us right into point number three. God is faithful to us. Yes, being faithful means that we do what we say we will do. Being reliable and trustworthy. And none of us are perfect. We will all mess up and we will make mistakes. The good news is that even when we mess up, God is still faithful to all of us. Yes, God is always faithful, no matter what. It's who he is. He is perfect and will always do what he says he will do. We can be unlikely heroes when we hold on and we trust in what, in what God has for us and we remain faithful. God chose us, you and I, to serve him and continue to do the work that Timothy and the other church leaders in Acts started. 1 Thessalonians 5.24 says, The God who has chosen you is faithful. God is faithful to us, and we can be faithful to him. That's a good word, Captain Galaxy. Well, that's all the points we have today. Those were amazing, and I thank you so much for having me here again today. Of course. We have to do one more thing before you leave, though. You're right. Do you know what it is? Yes, we have to pray. Of course we have to. Let's welcome out the Praying Flower Queen. Yes. Hi, Praying Flower Queen. How are you? I'm doing awesome. Thanks How... for coming to pray for us again today. I love having you. Of course, it's my favorite part of the week, just getting to, to hang out and pray with you guys. Wow, I love that. Should we get into it? Yeah, I heard we learned about faithfulness this week, and mm -hmm. our unlikely hero was Timothy. Yep. So thinking about that, I'm going to go ahead and pray. And okay. Yeah. Awesome. awesome. Thank you. All right, we just thank you, God, just for meeting us here in this place, Lord, as we learned about faithfulness, God. And I just pray that we remember these things that we learned throughout the week, Lord, that just because we're young doesn't mean we can't be used by you, God. Lord, so please show us how we can be used to help our moms and our families. Um, and we just thank you because you're good and you love us so much. Amen. 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 Thank you so much for coming, you guys. Maybe we'll see you next week. We don't know. Bye. Have a good week. Bye.